Hey guys, it's Heather. I just wanted to give y'all guys an update about studying for uh, my pharmacology test. I'd had a couple requests on people, um, you know, wanting some more information about it. So I thought I would do my best and do a little tutorial type thing, I guess. I don't know, tips, not tutorial, that's a better word. Um, anyways, guys, I've never made a video like this before, so I apologize if the camera's kind of shaky or just bad camera work in general, but I'm doing my best. So, um, anyways, guys, the first thing that you need to do when you're studying for something like this is just kind of get organized and get all your supplies. Fortunately, you don't really need very much for this. Um, I usually use note cards, for sure. I really like these. I don't know if you can tell really in the video, but they're pretty big. They're basically the same size as my book. Um, I like to use these. You can fit more information on them and you don't have to worry about writing really small. My handwriting gets really bad when I have to write small, so these work a lot better for me. Um, obviously you're going to need a drug guide. Um, this is the one that we use for our class. This is the 12th edition, I believe, Davis's drug guide. Um, then what you're going to need is what you actually need to know. This is the list of meds. Um, I just went ahead and wrote them all down because I feel like when I write things down I retain them a little bit better. So right here down the left side is all the different um, classes, antibiotics, anticoagulants, etc, etc. And then on the other side is all the names of the different drugs. So as you can see I have quite a few that I needed to know. I've checked off the ones that I've already done um, so far. I've done the first ones that I really don't know that much about, anti-Parkinson's, anti-psychotics, anti-depressants, anti-convulsants, and then I had already done the antibiotics and the anticoagulants, even though I, I feel pretty okay on those. The rest of them I'm kind of taking it a little easier because I know we've you know kind of done a lot of stuff with these already, so I kind of know these better. And then on the back I also have some of the pain meds listed that we're going to need to know. So basically what I do, guys, is when I make my note card, I usually... Um, you know, put the class of what I'm doing on the top. Let me get this straight and show you. So for example, these are the anti-anxiety meds. And so I list, you know, the names of all the meds, Advan, Clonopin, um, and I kind of list if I'm not sure exactly what some of them are for, if they have a different use. Um, so Clonopin is used for anxiety and for seizures, then Librium and Valium and Buspar. Um, so I just kind of lift those up at the top and like I said, I list usually a different name if I think they might ask us a different name for it on a test, like lorazepam for Ativan or anything like that. Um, and then like I said, and also Valium is diazepam, so I list those. Um, and then like I said, I list it for, like for clonopin is not just anti-anxiety, it can also be used for seizures. Then what I go through, do, and I do, so to save myself time and to kind of, um, sorry, and to kind of, uh, you know, keep everything straight in my head is what I like to do is I like to list all the side effects and then I like to list which ones have the same one. So if you see the little, I don't know if you can read it very well, but like above drowsiness, I have plus V, plus L, plus K, and plus B. So that means that the first one I did was Ativan. So these are all side effects for Ativan. But also it's the side of, drowsiness is a side effect for, um, for Clonopin, for Bus Buspar for um, Valium and for um, Librium as well. So that kind of helps me to save time so I don't have to write it over and over again. I try to pick out what is similar for each drug and what is different. For example, also there's Ataxia right there, which is only for Clonopin. So I put a little K in parentheses. Um, I do the same thing. Gosh, I don't know why this isn't focusing but, focusing, but I do the same thing for the assessment. So assess the degree of anxiety and mental status, which that's going to be an implication for pretty much any of these anti-anxiety or any kind of anti, you know, any neuro meds pretty much. So that's one thing that I really try to do. And I've done that for each, you know, one of our meds. Um, I messed up on this when I put anti-convulsants instead of anticoagulants, but you know, this one's kind of a little bit more legible. Um, you know, bleeding is the same for all of them. Anemia can be with heparin and Lovenox, um, and thrombocytopedia, uh, thrombocytopenia really only happens with heparin according to my book. So yeah, I just usually try to group together what's similar and what's different for each med. This one I really messed up on this card. looks terrible, but um, yeah, so that's something that I do that try to that try to make everything a little bit more organized for me since there is so much to know. Um, another thing that we have to know is we have to know um, insulins, so I just write them down in order of which one is fastest to longest, and then I left Novolog blank because my book had two different examples, so I've got to um, double check that with somebody else to see what they've been getting. I don't want to learn learn the wrong thing, but um, 
Anyways, the next part is dosage calculations, which I have our little, you know, conversions written right down here. I like to refer back to these during the test. I know them all in my head, but it's just nice to actually have them down. And then the next thing that I have is our um, practice problems for, um, <clears throat> you know, for the dosage calculations. I'm pretty good at these, but it's nice to have some practice to get kind of, you know, um, reacquainted with doing everything like that. So... Yeah, um, that's about it. Another thing that I've done which has really been helpful and other people have enjoyed, I made this practice quiz. Um, I just I just did it myself. I just kind of picked out things that I thought were important um, for some of the meds. or And like I did the same thing where I grouped together what's similar about them. For example, um, this question says, these medications are known to cause photosensitivity and the use of sunscreen is an important part of patient teaching. And so it's Levaquin, Finergan, and Glyburide. And I, that thing... I think something like that just really helps you to get those little, um, you know, implications about them straight if you, you know, like I said, find out what's common about them and what's different. So I just kind of went through, you know, and made, you know, a couple pages of questions. Um, a couple of other things, um, Dilantin can cause um, many side effects which could indicate a patient has reached toxicity such as, and the answer was ataxia, diplopia, and uh, nystagmus. So you can just kind of go through when you're making this and you can make yourself a little quiz like this to help yourself learn. Um, that's something that I've found is helpful and like I said, other people have found helpful as well. So um, yeah, that's basically what I do to study. Like I said, again, the main thing that I do, write down the names. Um, you know, you have to be able to acquaint what the name is of, you know, that Deseril um, is, for, is an antidepressant as well as Effexor, El Elevil, Lexapro, Nardil, Prozac, and Wilbutrin. So you obviously have to get that done in, down in your head as well as kind of how they work on the body. And then, like I said, what's common about them and what's different. A lot of them are in the same class, so they're going to have the same side effects, the same implications, but some of them do have different implications and different side effects. So it's really important to, um, you know, learn how to do that stuff. But anyways, guys, I have another part of this video that I'm going to tag on at the end. So this is going to end up being really long, but I'll talk to you in a minute. Bye.